two timescape image marks. This time our experiment is going to be atoms and their electronic charges. Supplies you will need. Two matching bowls, a plate with a beveled edge, different colored marbles, tape, scissors, pen or pencil, paper, and something small like uncooked popcorn. The scientific method, it's so easy. The scientific method, it goes one and two and three, four, five, six. So here we have our plastic bowl, and I've already decorated this one. What I did is I drew a couple of pictures of windows and a door, and then I used the scissors to cut them out, and then I put them on the bottom of the bowl. This is going to... oh, there's the tape I used, and let's see, in fact, I'm going to raise it a little bit so it's easier to see. This is what you want to do to create your atomic model so you can kind of get the idea of how to remember for the charges and make it hands-on. Now this is the nucleus, but we're going to call it Nuclei House for the purposes of our experiment. And then there's our uncooked popcorn. So what you do is you've got your protons, and we have eight. Now protons are pros, which kind of means they're professionals. These dudes are pros. They got a great job. It's important to help remember. And then here we have the neutrons. Two, three, four, five, six. Oops, supposed to have eight. Whoa! Morning, runaway marble. Morning, runaway marble. Okay, now we've got eight neutrons. Now the neutrons are neutral, and for our experiment, they're the whatevers. So we're going to put them in the nuclear house. Remember, that's what we're calling the nucleus for our experiment. Then we put them in there. Then we get out our popcorn. Now these are going to represent our electrons. We are not going to use the exact number for them. Sorry, it just won't work for the experiments. It's too hard to see. And then you place them around in the form of a ring, because the electrons ring around the nuclear house. Oh, I love what you have done with the place. But, oh, those neighbors. So here we have our nuclear house. Now remember, the protons are the pros. They have a job, so they're very happy. In fact, they're positive. They even have their own nuclear house. And they have roommates, the neutrons, and you can see them all living in there. The neutrons are the roommates in the nuclear house. They are neutral. They just go with the flow. Their motto is whatever. And then we have the electrons. Electrons are not allowed in the nuclear house, and that makes them tiny, bitter, and negative. So they can't go in the house, the nuclear house. They spin around in rings and gripe and complain. Let's listen to what they have to say. You call that a house? Ha! I don't think so. Oh, you think you're all so cool with your big old house? Not. We don't need no house. We are just fine out here. The weather's great, as a matter of fact. So there it is. There's our nuclear house, and here's how you remember the charges. The pros? They're professionals. They got a job. They're really happy. They're just downright positive. They have roommates in the nuclear house, and those would be the neutrons, and they're just neutral. Whatever. So that's the easiest way to remember it. And the reason we're calling it nuclear house instead of nucleus is because... It prevents you from confusing neutrons and nucleus, because that's really easy to do when you're new with this stuff. But nuclear house sounds kind of like nucleus, where neutron sounds nothing like nuclear, nuclear house. So it's just, it's just an aid to remember, which is the whole point of this experiment, is to get you to be able to remember that the protons are pros, so they're really happy, they're positive, that the neutrons are neutral, whatever, and they don't even have a charge. And then, of course, the electrons, those tiny little electrons that spin around the bitter ones, they're just negative because they're not even allowed in the nucleus. And that's our experiment. Now, as for the science, because we chose eight protons, that means its atomic number will be eight, and that makes it oxygen. And in the case of oxygen, it really does have eight protons, which gives it its name. And then it really does have eight neutrons. The electrons I didn't want to calculate for this because, again, it doesn't really matter for the experiment. So what we did is we made oxygen. Now, if you want to know how much the thing weighs, because the, the electrons are so 
small, they're almost 2,000 times smaller than the protons. They, we don't even calculate their weight for most incidences. So, in order to calculate the weight, or the mass, because remember, on Earth we have weight, and when you go out of Earth you don't have weight when you're in space, so mass covers you in either territory. The atomic mass, or on Earth the weight, is the number of the protons plus the number of, uh, of neutrons. So it's really simple, it's just, well in this case it's 8 plus 8. But no matter what your number of protons are, or the number of your neutrons, when you add them together, that's, that's the mass, that's the weight. Because the electrons just don't weigh enough to worry about. Now there are certain scientists that will use that calculation, but for general purposes, this will get you through it. We hope this helped you and made it easier to understand. Check in in the future for some more experiments in different fields. Thank you!